Golly. <laughs> Bloody hell. Right, so, God, this is tough. This is when you need a helper. Like an elf or something just to help. Okay, so I'm gonna sit here. So that should be focused on me right now, but now I need to, now I need to stay here. Stay here. Stay here where my hand is. And unfocus it, I can't do it. Okay, so focus on my hand here. And then, then unfocus it. Out. And then, I should be in focus. Yeah. So I've got my July favourites for you today and it feels like honestly forever since I've done a favourites but it's only been a month. But technically a month is quite a long time, like that's four whole weeks, that is a long time. But I'm going to jump straight into my favourites. The first one is of course my Primark range. If you didn't know, I am doing a range for Primark. It's a homeware collection and I'm so excited and I thought I would tell you in this video that I will be doing two meetups. Scary. I'm going to be doing one on the 18th in Meadow Hall in Sheffield and I'm going to be doing one on the 21st in London. I'll probably be announcing them in another video or on Twitter so make sure you follow me on Twitter if you do want to come because I will be announcing like times and everything on there but I'll try and do it in either a vlog or another video. But yeah let me know in the comments if you're excited and if you're going to come to one of them because I would love to see you there and it's my first ever meetups and I'm honestly so nervous. I'm like really really nervous but I just want to buy you all cakes and donuts and just hug you all. <laughs> so yeah I'm gonna show you a few of my favorites from my Primark range and the first one is this rose gold sequin cushion. Now you might be like Gabby why have you got a rose gold sequin cushion but it matches the fairy lights perfectly and I absolutely am in love with the fairy lights and the back is really really soft material it's so nice it feels like a teddy absolutely in love with this it just adds a little bit of glamour I've also got this smoothie cup and you guys know how much I love smoothies so I made sure that there was some sort of smoothie cup in the range and if you guys go ahead and buy this make sure you tweet me or Instagram me with the hashtag smoothie with with Gabs and I will check it out. So my biggest favourite out of the range are these fairy lights. They're so cute. They match the cushion absolutely perfectly. They've just got like clear bulbs with sequins on, rose gold sequins, and they look amazing above your bed. Another one of my absolute favorites from the range is this cat cup. I love this so much. It's so Pinterest. And if you make a cool drink in this, hashtag me in the tag that I said before. I'm gonna change it to drinks with Gabby because smoothie with Gabs, you might not drink a smoothie in this. You might have a cool little hot chocolate but this is one of my absolute favourites. I love this. I've actually got one right now and I just use it all the time because it's so damn cute. But on to the actual bedding. This is it. I'm going to do a close-up because this is super duper bright. But it's just got this geometric pattern on which is everything that I wanted. I wanted lots of triangles and like harsh shapes because I really like the way that they look. And it's grey, pink and mint. So this comes in a single and a double and that is one of my favourites. I've actually got it on my bed right now. It looks amazing. Another one is this cushion, which I love. It's got Mr. Nellington on. I don't think I've shown this before in a vlog or anything, but this is another thing that is in the range and it's this plaque that you can either hang up or you could have it on your dressing table and it says being yourself is the prettiest thing you can be and I just think that's so 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 nice I'm definitely popping this in my little makeup area just to remind me to be myself because there's nobody else like you in the world and I just think that's such a nice little quote oh my god how could I forget my absolute absolute favorite I think this is genuinely my favorite thing then again I do really love the fairy lights but this is a close second and it is this cat eye mask. I love this so much. Obviously, there are some cat themes that run through this because it's me and how could I not put cats in my range? But this is adorable. It's just got this little cat face which matches the bedding and this other side is pink. It feels furry, like it feels really, really soft. I just love this so much. Meow. 
I'm actually going to leave a video in the down bar where I unboxed and saw all of my range for the first time because I've not put a few bits in this so if you want to see absolutely everything go to that video. I'm just so excited. I've wanted to do a homeware range since I was like, I mean it's always been a dream since I was like 10. When I was younger I used to constantly redo my room. It's been like every colour under the sun and I just loved having it redone and stuff so it's always been in my mind that I would have loved to do a homeware range. So when Primark came to me and asked if I wanted to do one, I was like, yes, because I love Primark homeware too. It's such good quality and it's so affordable. I'm now going to move on to beauty things. I've done this in a really weird order. So my favourite face product has been the MAC Face and Body Foundation. Now, I did not think I would like this at all, but I honestly love it. It's been perfect for summer because it gives you a tiny bit of coverage and it's also quite a matte coverage. I mean, it's not totally matte. It's definitely not shiny, shiny like a tinted moisturiser. So it gives you a tiny bit of coverage, but doesn't make you look super shiny. And it's just honestly amazing. I've got this on today and this is a foundation that I've been wearing basically every single day in summer and people have been complimenting me on my freckles and things which I love because it doesn't hide them you can still see them through your foundation and I just think it's so so lovely another favorite has been another MAC product and this is the mineralized skin finish in the shade global glow and you just pop this on the tops of your cheekbones but I've been wearing this when I've got a mad tan like so fake tanned I've been wearing this Oh my god, it is gorgeous. It just adds the most gorgeous glow to your cheekbones. I love the new MAC packaging as well. It's so nice. And another glowy product that I've been using when I haven't used that one is this one. And this is from R.L. De Young. Never ever heard of this brand. In fact, I think I actually got sent this by a viewer. So thank you so, so, so much if you sent me this. It looks German to me, so yeah, I think I was. And it's in the shade Moon Dust. This is stunning. It's the most perfect pinky, blushy highlighter shade. It reminds me a lot of Benefit's Rocketeer, but it's just such a wearable shade and it's perfect on any skin tone as well. So if you can get your hands on this, definitely do it. It's amazing. Another MAC favourite, oopsie daisy, is the lipstick in the shade Modesty. And I think I talk about this quite a lot, or maybe I don't, but I do in person because I love this. I want everyone to buy it. It's a gorgeous nude shade, but it's got a bit of like... Oh, Nelly's having a poo when he's scratching all his sand around in his poo tray. Nell, couldn't you have held on a minute? So it's got a bit of an undertone that is more of like a brownie berry shade or like brownie mauvey shade. I can't really describe it but it's definitely got more to it than just a nude and I honestly think this is stunning and I think it would suit every skin tone. And what's the finish? Oh it's cream sheen so it's super moisturising too. And my last makeup favourite has been the Naked Smoky palette. I think this is out now, but this is what I've been wearing on my eyes basically every single day. I've been going for a really heavy eye look at the minute. And I've been taking the shades Armour and Smolder, which are a silver glitter, which is gorgeous and so pigmented. And then Smolder is kind of a purple shade, just in the crease. I think it's stunning. I love this palette. This might just be my favorite naked palette. Yes, Nell. Do you agree? I think it's gorgeous. I think it's a must have for anybody who loves makeup and loves smoky eyes. There's some matte shades in there. There's some gorgeous highlight shades, like the first shade, which is called High. It's just a gorgeous champagne highlight. There's some gorgeous, like, brownie goldy shades and loads of silvers. And there's one called Slanted, which is kind of a blue. I just think this is stunning, so definitely go ahead and get your hands on this if you can. And I love the packaging too, it's my favourite naked palette packaging. So moving on to hair favourites, my hair has been really healthy lately. This is not my own hair, this is extensions, but my own hair has been really healthy. And it's all thanks to this range, so this is the L'Oreal Elvive Full Restore Repairing Conditioner. And it says it's got five problems, one solution. And it says strength, density, vitality, shine, silkiness for weak, limp and damaged hair. This is amazing. There's also a pink one from this range that I love as well. This is the best conditioner I think I've ever tried. My hair is so soft. I only put this from the mid length to the ends of my hair. And then on the top, I put the Lee Stafford for hair that never grows past a certain length because that makes your hair grow. Or in my experience, it really has. 
but this has just made the ends so, so, so healthy. And I keep getting comments like, your hair looks amazing lately. And I'm like, oh, thank you. It's all down to this. Oh, I've got a favorite scent, which is strange for me. It's not a perfume, but it is a candle. And this is the Yankee candle in the smell cherry vanilla. Oh my God, I love this. I don't really like cherries, but I love the scent of it. I used to drink cherry juice on holiday just so I could smell it because I think it's gorgeous. This just smells kind of like vanilla cherry Coke mixed. It's gorgeous. It gives off so much scent as well in the room. My camera's flashing at me. <laughs> I'm really scared I'm not in focus. Well, that's definitely blurry. I can see that. I think I'm in focus. Meh. I think I got this from Tesco in their home bit. Gives off so much scent, it makes your whole room smell, but it's not really overpowering. Like, I think a lot of vanilla candles are quite overpowering because it's like, whoa. Did you just bake a cake? But this has got a little bit more to it and I really like it. Ooh, I've got an accessory favorite. This packaging is just gorgeous. These are Miu Miu sunglasses. Now I am a complete sunglasses junkie. I love them. I don't know what I would do without sunglasses. I wear them in winter just because they look so cool. <laughs> and I decided to treat myself to some more expensive ones because I only ever buy quite cheap ones as, except for my Key Australia ones. But I saw these in Selfridges when I was with Lucy and Lydia and we were all like, yeah. This is gonna happen. They are these sunglasses. I think they are stunning. They go with absolutely everything. They've got a metal side which isn't too big and they're just shaped really nicely. And I also like that the lenses aren't too dark so you can still kind of see your eyes through them. I really like that. And I love the tortoiseshell detail on the side. I just think they're gorgeous and they come in the most gorgeous case. So as well as the case, they come with this little carry case as well and it's made of pink velvet again and it's padded and I've never seen one of these that's actually padded so it would keep your glasses safe in your bag if you can't fit this one in. Amazing idea. Good on your Mew Mew. I think these were about £125 or £75. That is a lot of money but the amount I wear sunglasses it just kind of makes sense for me to have a really nice pair of them. I don't spend my money on drugs or cigarettes or anything like that so why not treat myself to some nice sunnies, hey? Gorgeous. My body favourite of this month has been the Liz Earl Super Skin Body Cream. This has got shea butter, organic rosehip oil, cranberry seed oil, pomegranate extract and neroli oil. And it says it visibly plumps and smooths. Now I don't know about that because I don't think I've used it long enough. Like I feel like you have to use something for like three months to know if it actually like plumps your skin or whatever. I pop this on every night before I fake tan. It's just a gorgeous body cream and it makes you super super silky and smooth and my arms feel freaking amazing. I just want to stroke them all day which sounds a bit strange. Oh I can't even describe this scent. Pure essential oils delicately scent your skin whilst helping to calm and restore your senses. That is actually true because whenever I put this on at night I feel so much more calm because the scent just like fills the room and goes all up your nostrils and tickles them senses. Oh, it's amazing. I have got a favourite YouTuber of the month and it is Leading Lady Beauty. I've actually met Jade before and she seems so, so sweet. So I'm gonna link her videos below. The amount of effort that goes into them is crazy. She deserves so many more subscribers. I think she's on about 17,000, which is amazing. Or it might be like 14 or something. It's amazing, but you know when someone just deserves more, she's one of them people who deserves more. So please go and subscribe to Jade. Her video are so nice and she's really really funny as well. She's got the nicest hair, she looks like a princess. Princess Jade. My telly favourite of the month has been Humans. Now I just caught up last night on it, I watched like five episodes in a row because I totally forgot that it was even on. I didn't get into the first episode but I thought you know what, I think maybe it was Luke Franks who told me to carry on watching it, was it him? I think it was him. Anyways, I carried on watching it. I was like, oh, okay. So I carried on watching it and it is amazing. I really, really love it now. So if you're looking for a new show, definitely try out Humans. It's a bit science fiction-y and like futuristic, but it's also kind of set in our times as well. Basically, it's about these things called synths 
which are made and they're like robots but they look completely human and they're made to kind of help you out in the house but a few things have gone wrong with a few of them and there's a bunch of them who are more human than synth like and it's just a genuinely good program it's on 4od if you want to watch it i don't think it's on netflix but another tv favorite has been netflix how can i not mention netflix it is my entire life it's my best friend it's always there when you need it never goes away and obviously i've been liking to watch pll which is another favorite oh this is always a favorite of mine you guys know if you've watched my channel for ages i used to go on about it all the time and then i got people like okay we get it, you like it. So I haven't spoken about it in ages, so I'm gonna talk about it now. Can we just talk about season six, episode one, please? Because I've honestly watched that about seven or eight times now, and it never gets old, it is amazing. If you don't watch Pretty Little Liars, it's on Netflix. Please go and watch it. Get past the first, like, four episodes, and you will honestly be hooked. It's not a girly program at all, I don't think, which it seems at first, it seems like, oh, just another teenage girl program, but it's really not. It's really creepy now and things happen and people get killed and all this stuff happens. It's so, so, so good. And I ship Caleb forever. I also ship Emerson, Alison and Emily, but I think Spencer and Toby will break up and I think Ezra and Aria will get back together. And I think... I'm just excited. But we find out who A is on the 11th of August. I'm actually having a sleepover with some of my friends and we're gonna watch it and it's gonna be amazing and I'm so excited and <laughs> but I also don't want to know who A is because then my whole life <laughs> It's over. I actually just welled up then, like my eyes have actually welled up. I get so emotional about this program. I don't want to know who A is because then I can never look at it the same way, but it says that the girls come face to face with A, so I'm thinking that at the end of the program, they come face to face with them and then we don't know who it is and then there'll be so many annoyed people, but I'll be secretly kind of happy because I don't want to know who it is. Any other favourites, Gabs? I've got a favourite song and it is Don't Dream It's Over by Miley Cyrus and Ariana. I'm going to link that below. That is my entire life. I love that song. Miley's voice is like, oh, so nice. And Ariana's voice is like, so nice too. They just work so well together and I would never have put their voices together. It sounds like velvet. So nice. When the world comes in, they come. A bit of war between us, and we know they won't win. And I also really like Selena Gomez, Good For You. Can't stop singing that. I really want to do a cover of it, to be honest. But I don't really like the message of the song, so I'm a bit like, uh. I also love Call For The Summer by Demi Lovato. That is my jam right now. I love Do It Again by Pia Mia. She actually tweeted me the other day and I had a secret little fangirl, but I tried not to act like I was fangirling, so I was like, oh, that's embarrassing. <laughs> but I was fangirling. I'm attempting to learn the dance routine to that right now. Nice to nice to know you, let's do it again. It's going okay, I will keep you updated. <laughs> if you want me to put my dance routine to Pia Mia's Do It Again in a video one day, when I know it, give this video a thumbs up and I will get working my butt off to try and learn it and be sassy and swaggy and have all the American fun. And that's about it for all of my favourites this month. Let me know a few of yours in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you would like to see more of me and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Oh PS, I've got a really cool video coming next. I'm excited.